Uh, welcome back friends, my name is Deepak Mauri. Uh, you are watching my YouTube channel theindianoptions.com. Uh, uh, today we are going to discuss about one of the trading behavior that is called as trading based on support and resistance figures. Okay. Uh, this is going to be really very very short video. I think so it will be less than 5 minutes because I have uh, prepared only one slide uh, uh, on this and uh, uh, this is a normal behavior and lot of uh, traders usually follow this kind of behavior in the market. Uh, so uh, what is this uh, resistance and support is that uh, I have explained this I think so in the uh, options uh, basic section there is a video for resistance and support. Uh, you should really see that video before you see this so that you will understand and I actually I have used the same graphic over there as well so that um, uh, yeah, there is a correlation between that video and this video. right? Now here what happens is now what are these support and resistance, uh, first of all I'll just uh, quickly recap what it is. Uh, so when the market tries to go up at one direction and suddenly there is an un uh, imaginary line uh, called as a resistance. Okay. Now uh, as soon as the market hits the resistance it will reverse its directions and start to go down and until it reaches the support level and then again it starts to go up. So uh, the market is you know bound by two imaginary lines resistance lines and support lines. Okay. So every day the market releases three figures uh, support level 1, support level 2 uh, sorry resistance level 1, resistance level 2 and resistance level 3 uh, support level 1, support level 2 and support level 3. Okay. Now the chances of hitting the first resistance is very high. I would say like 60-70%. Okay, 60-70% of the times the market could actually hit the first resistance. And in a rare situation it might cross that first resistance and because there is still a momentum in the market then the market might go to the second resistance. And if there is still further movement then third resistance. So all these three the resistance and same thing with the uh, when the market starts to go down support, support, uh, support 1, support 2 and support 3. So uh, these figures are actually released by uh, NAC India uh, every day or you can just search for uh, search in Google like uh, maybe give uh, support resistance level nifty today or something. If you give this kind of query you will get those three figures. Okay, uh, three figures on top side, three figures on the uh, bottom support side and then what traders do is now they know that uh, the market market is now uh, in this example I have shown that okay say the market is at uh, uh, 11 uh, 12 o'clock the market was at uh, 12.25 the market is at 13 uh, 12.342 okay uh, that is the example that I have taken. Now uh, at 12.32 uh, uh, the market was uh, uh, 12 o'clock and 32 in the afternoon the market was at 12,350 right. Now from this point on if the market goes above above okay the first resistance level they are saying is 12,395 second resistance level is 12,429 and third uh, resistance is 12,522. Now these resistance levels are calculated uh, automatically by you know complex formulas by the people don't worry about how it is made just know that there are these levels. So lot of traders what they will do is they will open the contract assuming that if the market is going up then they will think that okay fine the maximum might go till 12, uh, 3095. So let me make uh, 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 let me choose the strike price as 12,400 okay so they will uh, open the contract for 12,400 uh, as soon as the market tries to go till 1295 or something then they will know that the resistance has been hit and now the there is very less chance that the market might further go up so they will close the trade because they think that they have got the maximum juice out of today's uh, uh, contract so they will just close it because the resistance level at risk, that's what they think right even in the downside if the market is crashing and if it crashes till one point now in this our example we are saying that the market uh, could crash to 12,315 uh, or 12,282 or again it goes down it is 12,189 right so if the market goes in this level so again some people might do that open the trade um, 
for the market to go maybe maximum until 12,315 so they will choose the strike price as 12,300 as a strike price just to make sure that you know the market might go up or down or uh, you know something like that. So uh, there are a lot of traders uh, who uh, try to choose uh, this the support uh, levels and resistance levels as their guiding star. They see these levels as their guiding star to do the trading and you could also do that and uh, a lot of times it is almost true it happens a lot of times if the market goes up it normally goes till that level and uh, then goes down or vice versa or something right so uh, that's about it for this video there's not much things to discuss here uh, i have made this separate video for this just to understand that there is such kind of uh, behavior and you should be aware about it so uh, that's about it for this video uh, my subscription button is right here uh, please subscribe to my videos and uh, Please share it with your friends and I'm going to upload this presentation on YouTube uh, uh, as soon as uh, uh, this video is released. Uh, so uh, please uh, register to my website www.theindianoptions.com and uh, there will be a download section after login then you will be able to see this. Okay. Thank you very much and you have a nice day. Bye bye.